it's a phrase that kind of really uh, grinds my gears. But do you know when people say, oh, I've got a home cinema set up, and they really mean you've got a pretty big TV. Well, we're getting a real uh, home cinema set up today. Dug out the uh, projector that's been in the family for about 40 years. One thing that always makes me laugh about this projector though, is my dad used to use it to uh, do Christmas parties with, uh, like children's parties where he worked. And uh, like I say, he worked in this haulage firm and stuff, and it's like one of those classic, you know, 70s, 80s things that you could never do nowadays. It'd be like dead controversial. But these are some of the films that uh, my dad used to watch uh, uh, when we were doing these uh, parties. Uh, the Dam Busters. Can't put that on today because it's got a very uh, rude word in it uh, that uh, begins with the letter N. Something that was a little bit more appropriate was uh, Walt Disney Christmas. Got uh, Chip and Dale on there, Pluto, Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. That's pretty good though. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is uh, Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth. What's really funny about this film though, I explain so much about my childhood when I watched this film because it's like a, a Bruce Lee exploitation movie, cashing on his death and everything. Classic 18 certificate though, classic Christmas party material. I've got my cinema seat here that I've rescued from the actual ABC, uh, Canon Cinema in Broad Street, Hanley, Stoke on Trent. Well, like I say, I'm just going to show you how to set up the projector now. Great thing about watching the film on a print as well, I can actually see the countdown here on part of the film, and as soon as I start it going, it'll uh, obviously kick in on the screen. And it's a proper light camera action type thing. Here we go. Start the motors, start the lights, start the sound. Boom. Bruce Lee, true story, or the man, the myth as it's known. Uh, the screen can actually go a lot bigger, but I haven't got much space. So, you know, like if you've got more room, you can sort of just move it all back and the screen will go a lot bigger. Uh, NCUN, I'm sure he produced or directed No Trick No Surround, I'll have to check that out, which is a very similar film to this. Love having one of them wooden dummies as well. He used a lot of this as part of the brake bumpers for the European version of Headbangers Ball. It's a little bit light, but let's take it old school cinema style. There you go, much better. This is actually a pretty faithful version of the Bruce Lee story too. If you've got the DVD version, which is like all the reels really, uh, you know, put on one disc, there's a lot more to it and it gets a bit more ridiculous with his training with computers and uh, there's the story of him faking his own death and returning 10 years later in 1983. Uh, this is exactly the, what they used on Ed Bang's Ball. Go to America tomorrow. Among other shots as well, like where he gets run over by a car that looks like Bumblebee from the new Transformers. What she thinks is that America is different. She's insisting. Love this great, like, you know, that sound of the reels and the film actually going through the machine. Proper, you can realise why you got if you got into films in the, you know, any time before basically 2005, really. I'm sure I'll get uh, sucking in now just watching the movie. Oh! And it breaks this. I think a bit like Hawk the Slayer, Little Bro, Jeff Wayne's War of the World. And jump up to the uh, petrol prices were there. Pretty cheap, I would have thought, in 1976. That was two when this film came out. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get transported now into the Bruce Bluetation universe and, uh, you know, him kicking ass and everything. And the old Jeet Kune Do. So, see you later, and thanks for watching. Are you really teaching Kung Fu? Yeah. Hey, if you would like to learn Kung Fu, I will teach you. Nah.